Triple E EDC here, back again with another knife video. Now this is the black wash version of the Kershaw Leak. I am actually trading this knife as part of another trade with the Masterop Ferrum Forge Crux, and I'm getting a custom version <clears throat> of the Griptilian with M4 steel. And I just wanted to put a video together. I never really got to review both of these knives, so I'm gonna be doing two videos tonight. And the first one is gonna be this Kershaw leak. It's going to be a why I'm selling it video, but also my review. And uh, I'm not gonna go as quite in depth in the review as I may otherwise. But in any event, this is the Kershaw leak. These are stainless steel scales, as you can see. And have the Nice Warncliffe blade. It's a Ken Onion design. This is probably one of the most famous Ken Onion designs. This is constantly uh, in, on Amazon flash sales and things like that. So it's a very, very popular knife. It's also a knife you can get on uh, cheap deals all the time, which is one of the reasons that I feel I can sell it. Um, not only is it one of those knives that you can replace easily and replace cheaply, uh, but it is also a knife that is something that used to be in my pocket a lot more often than it is now. Uh, and for a variety of reasons, that's the case. One of those reasons is that, that my collection is a lot more extensive now than it ever was before, and I have a lot more things that I just prefer to take on a regular basis. But one of the main other reasons is that Again, this is stainless steel construction, so you have things like the 943 Benchmade that are bigger, have more usable cutting edge, and frankly, feel lighter. I don't have a scale with me, but this actually feels lighter despite the increase in size because it has aluminum uh, scales versus the stainless steel and aluminum are lighter. Then you've got things like carbon fiber scales that are even lighter than that. So one of the drawbacks, obviously, to this knife is the fact that it's made of stainless steel construction. I'm gonna do some of the negatives uh, for this knife first. So you have the stainless steel construction, which makes it quite heavy. Also, you've got this eyesore of a pocket clip. I mean, this pocket clip is just massive. If you look at the Benchmade, this is, the deep carry pocket clip, and this is one of the ones that is the full size, not the tight, the small ones that are on the Benchmade bug out. Those ones are even smaller, as you can see here. So you can just really see how massive, massive that clip is. And frankly, it looks terrible when you clip it on the side of your pants because you can really see just this massive clip that runs down out of the pants. Now, a lot of people complain about this, the safety. I think the safety is important because it's assisted. And by, by assisted, I mean that it's on a spring, as you can see. When I pull it back and let it go, you can see it's on a spring. So I do think it is important that you have this safety here. What I do with this safety is I unscrew it just slightly so that it slides easily back and forth. And so I can engage the safety and not feel like I have to get my nail in there to, to move it back. So it's just a tip for you if you have a leak and you are frustrated by the safety. You know, I have a friend who has one and he never even engages the safety because of that reason. So if you have that tip, maybe, you know, you engage it. The f now, as far as what's good about this knife. Well, what's good about this knife is the blade stock on it is very thin, so it is very, very, very slicey. I mean, this is an extremely thin blade stock. Let's look at the blade stock on the Manix for comparison. I mean, this is just night and day. Let's look on the, at the blade stock of the 943. Again, much, much thinner. And let's look at the blade stock of the bug out, which is known for a thin stock. And it looks to be similar size or even possibly a little bit thinner. 
All right, this has a high saber grind, uh, and given the thinness of the blade stock, uh, it works out just great. It has that Warren Cliff style edge, that straight straight style edge. It's got a very very small pocket, uh, or what Nick Shabazz would call a pocket pecker, and so therefore it doesn't peck that very much at all. And uh, it's a flipper tab. It's one of the main ways of deployment, and one of the things that's great about this knife is not just the fact that you can do that flipper tab as a, as a means of deployment. You can also use the thumb studs. So it's quite, quite nice. You can flick it as well, although I have to admit with a assisted uh, knife, it's just not nearly as satisfying to middle finger flick this. I'll also tell you that I don't love the billboarding there with Kershaw, although Kershaw does that with a lot of his knives. I do like the fact that this lanyard hole is here, sort of in a line of matching up with the screws so that it's almost hidden. I find that uh, to be a, a great, des great part of this design. I don't like the fact that the pivot screw is so small and that these other screws are so small. But again, then again, the knife is not that large to begin with. I do prefer larger knives, as you've probably gathered on my channel by now, and that's one of the other reasons I'm selling this. But for a small knife, this has an excellent size handle that f gets a four-finger grip, and I have to admit that I really like the, the handle uh, ratio on this, uh, despite the fact that it's small. It just feels great. It's also the perfect size for, with the Warncliffe blade, for getting your finger there to do some draw cuts like, like that, where you're putting the, the point into the material that you're cutting. The steel on this, I believe, is a Sandvik steel, and it sharpens up really, really easily. I was shocked at how easy this was to sharpen, especially since I'm a beginner sharpener. I think you've seen maybe some of my videos on here that I try to sharpen on the Wicked Edge, but uh, this takes a great, great edge. I think that's it for my review. Uh, I will say that I did enjoy having this knife, but once my collection grew, I just found that I didn't carry it at all. Uh, so if you're a beginner knife person, this is a great knife for you. It is getting stiff competition now from things like the Civivi Backlash. And just to give you a comparison real quick about how those knives stack up. Obviously you can see the Backlash, much larger knife. It's got the G10 scales, liners, liner lock, and the 9CR blade. And this just is action that drops shut. So if you don't like the assisted knives, this Civivi Backlash is a good alternative. Anyway, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment. Happy to have you guys watching the videos and looking forward to talking more knives with you. Take care. Bye.